Good morning and welcome back to Our Life in Holland. It is early on Saturday morning and Landon and I are up to something pretty special. I have a choir audition. Landon has a choir audition, which we're pretty excited about. Because I love choir. <laughs> As you guys know, he just came off of three weeks going to school for many hours, then heading to physical therapy for many hours. Just coming off the heels of that and he's headed to a choir audition this morning. Busy little guy over here. But choir is just what he loves. He's been part of a great choir, a choir we love so much for the past couple of years. But we thought it might be fun just to try out for the One Voice Children's Choir. So you guys saw him sing A Million Dreams yep. a couple of weeks ago. He yeah. sang it so beautifully. So we yeah. submitted that video of him singing online and we heard back a couple of days ago that Landon and got a call back. So it's his second audition this morning in person. He had to choose a pop song and be prepared to sing 30 seconds of it a cappella, which for those of you who aren't musical, it means without the piano. He can ask them for the key that it starts with and then he has to sing it completely on his own. So we've been practicing that. Tell them the song you chose. I chose Stop and Stare by One Republic. And that he also had to practice the chorus of the song Dynamite, which is a really, really fun song. So we've been working on that for the past couple of days. And he's ready. I'm ready. Let's go do this. Oh, okay, we're here. He's in there. I don't know who's more nervous, me or him. <laughs> we got him here. We got him dressed up in his little suit jacket, his little dress shirt. You look so handsome. I've been practicing all morning. There's got to be over 100 kids in there. I've been kind of watching through the window. Every time that somebody gets done with their solo, all the kids just cheer so loud. It's the sweetest thing. It's like making me teary. I asked them if when it comes time for his solo, if I could go in there and just stand on the sidelines in case he needs direction as to where to go or any sort of accommodations. And they said that would be fine. He is feeling confident he didn't feel stressed about me not going in there but I just wanted to make sure that he was okay oh it's gonna be a really really long hour he's number 52 <laughs> wish him luck I'm so excited for him he's been practicing so hard he has such a beautiful voice I just talked to one of the moms here and the majority of the kids that are here at this audition are actually already in the choir. She said that they were very selective in any additional kids that they gave a call back to. So, so I guess the fact that he got a call back in and of itself is a huge deal. And I told him, if you don't make it today, doesn't work out you're already part of an amazing choir and you have a beautiful voice and it's not meant to be so no stress just go out there and have fun and it's a win-win situation over he absolutely nailed it like I told you they said that I could come in a couple of auditions before Landon and I hit off to the side and I debated in my mind whether I should step in and guide him to where he's supposed to go give him some comfort and some assurance or if I should just let him be and just let it go how it's gonna go and I decided to not even tell him that I was there and I am so glad because he nailed it I was so proud of him in fact I'm just emotional I'm honestly just like so emotional thinking about his audition he did so awesome he walked up there with confidence he told him his name the song he was gonna sing he told him the key that they needed to play because it was a cappella, and he sang his little song and I just I couldn't have been prouder of him such an amazing little boy whatever happens this was an incredible experience and I'm so proud of him for doing it all right you guys so Lynn and I are out here with Turin and Ashton eating a little dinner while Ava's hanging out uh, at the Monday's house and Lindsay is actually helping Kaylee move in. Kaylee and Benji's moving. So we've been hanging out there at the house for a little bit the last couple hours. But we want to jump on camera here and to kind of talk about Landon's experience here this morning at tryouts. Let's hear about this. It was pretty fun. You guys, he sang in front of a lot of people. I don't think you were expecting that. I don't think Lindsay was expecting that. I mean, it was a tryout in front of how many kids do you think were there? 73. 73 kids. And were you nervous at all? Not even a little bit. No. Nope. Guys, I think these kids got a future in either public speaking or, you know, 
some sort of. The one uh, thing I'm worried about though is to see if I made it. So this is a trial. So this is a very, very famous kids choir. It's called One Voice Children's Choir. Check it out on YouTube, actually. So if he makes this, guys, that's kind of a big deal. Very. I'm, it's a very sought-after children's choir. I'll be very proud of him because he's worked very hard to memorize that. So I'll be very proud of him if he makes that one. Thank you, Ashton. Oh, there you have it, Thank guys. You, and I give the right note to say, and I did really awesome, and I was super nice. There you have it, everybody. All right, you guys, as you saw today, Landon turned up for the One Voice Children's Choir. I was so proud of him. And I have to admit, as I brought him to the audition, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know a ton about the choir other than it seemed like a really great experience. I've been super impressed with everything that I've seen. Their music videos are super inspirational, but I didn't know if it was the kind of choir that took things really seriously or expected a high level of musical background. So as I went to the audition, I hesitated whether I say anything about some of the challenges that Landon experiences. I didn't want him to be labeled from the very beginning, but I also wanted him to be accommodated. It's always this delicate balance in life, right? No one wants to be labeled, but he also deserves some grace in situations. So I decided it was important that I gave them a little bit of information about him. So as he walked in there, I said, I just wanted to let you know that my son has a little bit of vision challenges and this is a new situation and I don't know what kind of accommodations he may need, but I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. And as I walked away, I just hoped in my heart that that wouldn't kind Wait. of give him a yeah. disadvantage yeah. because you know in higher levels of choir you have to be able to read the music and be able to see the notes on the page and that's a big part of being in a choir so I was talking to another mom as we were waiting outside and I kind of told her some of the thoughts and, and concerns and stresses that I was feeling and she informed me that there are currently two kids in the choir that are blind and it kind of surprised me I had no idea and so I was really impressed to know that this choir was so welcoming to children with all different disabilities that they welcomed two people that are completely blind to be able to be part of the choir. You can learn music by ear, and I know that, but I didn't know if they felt that way. So whatever happens, it doesn't matter. He's already part of a great choir, so proud of him. But I thought that was really cool. One extra thing that just made me love One Voice even more. We will keep you guys posted. It's beginning of June, we are gonna find out. But he had a pretty good showing, so I think his chances are high. guys. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Thank you for being part of our channel. Smash the like button on today's video. See you guys tomorrow morning.